talk about loading an SUP board on the roof of a car. Um, important things is that the pad stays down, you want the fin facing up. If you put the fin facing down, you have a chance of scratching the roof of your car. We're going to load it on the trailer over here, but the trailer, you can just imagine the trailer as if we were going to use this bar here and this bar here, okay? So use the handle, lift with your legs. Just like this was the roof of a car, I've got my padding here. You never want to put the board on an open bar. One, it'll slip, and two, it'll probably scratch the board up. My setup for the racks is far apart as possible. It's going to give it the best purchase on it, less likely that the board is going to uh, wobble in the wind. One of the things you want to really try to avoid is having the board stick too far in front when you're driving. The way the wind can get underneath it, and it could pull it off. So I try to keep the board as centered as possible over the car. Cam straps goes over the board. What you, what you think you would want to do is have the cam strap lie flat, but what you actually want to do is you want to twist the cam strap. By twisting the cam strap, it reduces the wind drag on it and it'll keep the strap from flapping on the board. Cam straps are flat on here. On a long drive, you'll actually scar the board. It goes around the bar. You want to set it up so you're pulling down on the cam strap. This one's a little bit long, so I'm just going to shorten it a little bit. I want the strap off the board so that it doesn't scratch the board if it moves at all. Cam strap goes through. pulls down, and I just want to make sure that that board isn't going to move. And then with the excess, what I'll do is I'll tie it off. One of the things that I always do when I stop, I stop to get gas or I stop to get a coffee, I always want to make sure that those straps do not loosen up because over time, this is what will happen to the straps. The straps stretch out. 